Y'all check out my ball joint busting, tie rod breaking, electrical nightmare. I remember the day I was walking through the lot and figured out that this was the one. It's a tough day to forget because it's the same day I received an email saying that I had tested positive for autism. I wanted a truck to match my personality, and this one does. We both got special needs. Nothing screams I'm living at my mama's house and hadn't paid child support in two years like a lifted diesel truck. I remember the day I traded in my Honda CRV for this thing, I immediately started taking tests, getting monster energy tattoos, and punching holes in the wall at my mama's house. Sex sales, I know, because ever since I got this truck, I've been getting charged for it. When I bought this truck, I was thinking about going to treatment for drugs and alcohol, but obviously I kept using. I knew when I sat down in the sales office, went to use the hand sanitizer and it was Astro Glide, I just made the best decision of my adult life. Best thing about owning a truck like this is you never have to check your bank account because there's no money in it. I remember one time I got stuck in a gravel parking lot, hooked this thing to the back of a Honda Accord, put it in four low, pulled it right out of there. Guy got out, gave me his business card, said he puts on doors for a living. If I was ever interested in coming out of the closet, he was the man to call. I mean, in a good year, if I don't drive more than five or 7,000 miles, I'll run through about, I don't know, $10,000 worth of ball joints and tie rod ends. That's nothing compared to the divorce cost after my wife finds out how many homeless men I've slept with in the back of this thing. People know when I pull up in this thing, I'm either married to or divorced from a family member. And I'm probably into things like gas station jewelry, Curve, and Kenny Chesney, baby. I'm not gonna lie, this truck will make you do some crazy things. Last week when I got off work at the GNC store, I stole my mom's Xanax and hung out at Sonic all night. If a Honda Big Red and a unicycle had a baby, it'd be this thing. This is exactly what it looks like when a can of Copenhagen and some square toe work boots come to life. You like taking long drives down a back road? Well, you want this thing because it feels like you're driving a straight axle wheelchair 45 miles an hour down the side of a mountain. To get up in this thing, you'll have to ask your boyfriend for his hand in marriage. Oh. You crank this thing up, you receive a lifetime supply of flavored rubbers so you don't have the aftertaste of paying your father back for co-signing. This thing's got the turning radius of a blind armadillo. You kinda gotta give it some gas and then get it, there it is. He's got the Dollar Max engine in it, which really resembles a pissed off ex-wife in divorce court. She ain't gonna be happy till you're wondering where your next meal's coming from, living under an overpass holding a cardboard sign. This thing's got a huge all-you-can-spend transmission in it. Help you drain your bank account while you're driving down the road. This thing will pull you up right outside the homeless shelter. The truck itself spends about 95% of its life at the dealership, where a bunch of Votech vultures develop a seven to $10,000 spreadsheet worth of parts to see if they can make it roll down the road again. I spend so much time at Chevrolet that I developed diabetes off their drink machine. Matter of fact, I met my new wife in the waiting room up there. So let me tell y'all something. If you're looking for one of the biggest POS's that money can buy, look no further than this billfold busting piece of crap right here.